the life and giving birth to it must be one of the strongest feelings on earth. Knowing that everywhere you go, anywhere you go, there is always gonna be someone that loves you with all their heart. And this is the only instance of love in which you can be assured it's not conditioned. Because your parents will always love you. It doesn't matter what you do or how you look like. Even if you look like this. But this is like taking away all the good moments from having a child and putting only the bad moments. So, this is the demon kid in fear and hunger. I don't think some people even know how to create this thing, but let's go step by step, shall we? So, you have to collect all the three torn pages in order to get access to the spell that creates the demon child. How do you get them? The first page is gonna be in the second library of the first level, the one in which usually Enki is present. The second torn page is gonna be present inside of the hideout of Nosramus behind the old knight. And the third and last torn page is gonna be present in the old passage. You have to unlock it by completing the Mahabra puzzle and then it's gonna be inside of this pile of books. And once you have all the three pages, you can access the crafting menu and you have access to the new crafting of Creation of Life the second. This is a book that is gonna teach to whoever you use it on the skill Demon Seed. This skill make it so that almost on all corpses of the game you are able to use the skill itself in order to give birth to a baby demon. But let's go step by step, okay? So, who can you use this skill on? Pretty much everyone except for some particular entries which are Yellow Mages, Old Knight, Cave Mother, Salmon Snake, Iron Shakespeare, Redman and Francois. Also, other instances in which you cannot use it are if you're playing on hard mode or if you have the Penance Armor equipped. Last but not least, you need to have at least 20 mind in order to use the skill. But no worries, no mind is gonna be consumed in the process. So, once you use it, you're gonna have a new party member, which is called Baby Demon. Also, before you ask, no, you can only have one demon creature in your party. It doesn't matter if it's baby or kid, but we're gonna discuss about this in a second. So, what does the baby demon do? Pretty much nothing. He cannot equip items. In battle, apparently, he doesn't attack, so it's just there, okay? But of course I have to complicate my life a lot, and I tried to do something. I used the scrolls to give him skills, and apparently the baby demon is able to use skills. I tried to teach him combustion, and he started using it. Also another funny thing, once your demon party member dies, you're able to get another one by using demon seed once again, and the baby demon is gonna still maintain the skills once you get him again, like in this... Uh... What... what the... Ah, this is not a bug episode, no, 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 let's skip this. So yeah, yeah, he's gonna maintain combustion, for example. Let's continue, let's move on, we didn't see anything. Also, the baby demon has a peculiarity. There is a stat on him that is called the Special Flag Guard. Basically, while it is baby, he is always gonna take half damage from all attacks of the game. What does that mean? That if we use pheromones on him, we have actually access to a small tank for free and reusable, because after he dies, you can take another one. But I think we discussed enough about the baby demon. Once some milestones of time pass, and these milestones are 50 seconds, 100 seconds, 166 seconds, and 283 seconds, you're gonna receive messages that tell you the baby demon is slowly growing, and last but not least, after 400 seconds total, you are gonna have a new party member. The baby demon grew enough, now he's a fully functional party member that can be controlled in in battle. Let's see what can this one do, shall we? First of all, if you told him skills while he was a baby, he's gonna forget them. That's why you shouldn't probably teach him skills while he's a baby, but still. This time he can equip items. What are these items? They are basically mostly the items that the girl can already equip. He can equip as weapons a dagger, cursed dagger and skeletal arm, cannot equip shields, cannot equip heavy armors, and that's pretty much it. In battle it is basically a normal party member. 
And now let's go to some shenanigans. First of all, there is a very peculiar thing that I think I should mention. It's not the main character that has to know Demon Seed in order for it to be used. As you can see here, I'm gonna teach Demon Seed to Ragnavalder, and then once I go on a corpse, uh, I'm still able to do it. So I guess uh, uh, Ragnavalder is helping in the process. Uh, and then there is another very funny thing. If you try to do it on the Crow Molar, there will be the message Would you like to use Demon Seed on the Dead Guard? I mean, if you know a bit, a bit about the Crow Molar backstory, okay, but then you have to explain to me why it works the same even for the Yellow Lizard Mage and for the White Angel. The White Angel is a guard? Uh, ah. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's an endgame spell, but it seems a little bit... Uh, Stupid, because you get access to a worst girl after you spend 400 seconds uh, roaming around uh, with your kid Because mind you, the time spent in the menu doesn't count towards the 400 seconds You have to spend 400 seconds going around the dungeon or just standing still just to wait for a new party member But there is one last use that I guess you guys will like, at least I know that I do You can give him to Pocket Cat in exchange for some cool items, which is potentially the best way you can use it You can do it only once though the Pocket Cat will only accept one demon kid, but still, you get access to some pretty good stuff, am I right? So I guess the price for the worst parent ever goes to me.